Hello, this is Mark BH70 on August 27th of Friday of the year 2010. We think because we live in a Western world that the Western world is civilized, whereas the Jews were civilized when they killed the Christ and when they went on to kill Christians. It wasn't just the Jewish leaders, but it was as well the people. Peter preached to at least 3,000 people that came to Jesus Christ. He said, you killed the, mur the, the author of life and asked for a murder to be released from, for, to you. Basically, Jesus said, you got the author of life, you got Jesus Christ, God. He, Jesus, Paul, um, Peter said, you have made, you know, you have made this Jesus, this particular Jesus, not just anybody, not just somebody with the name of Jesus, but this particular one, you know, or God has made this particular one whom you crucified and God raised from the dead, but God raised from the dead, both Master and Christ. He said, you killed the author of life or murdered the author of life and asked for a murderer. So we're taking somebody who gave you life, killing him, and saying, give us a murderer instead. Free, give a, give a mur give, provide society with a murderer. You know, it's okay for a murderer to be freed, but kill the author of life. So, you know, in some countries, a lot of countries, you know, you consider Germany a civilized society. I believe one of the first things that Hitler and his people wanted to do was to get rid of Christians, people that love their brother, that according to Jesus' commands, love their enemy. Now, we are, are trusting in deceptive words that, you know, Jesus said, you're like your, your forefathers. He said, then do the deed of your forefathers. Do the deeds of your forefathers. Murder the prophets. Jesus said, I'm a prophet. Fill up to the extent of your forefathers. Complete, you know, make it complete. Be just like your forefathers and murder me, is what Jesus said. He said, be what you truly are. Be a murderer. First John says, anybody who hates his brother is a murderer, as Cain hated Abel. And the Bible says in First John, short book, you know, go ahead and read it if you're unfamiliar with it. If you say you're a Christian, you should be able to read a three to five page little blurb, you know, little book. It's very short. The Bible says, you know that no murderer has eternal life in him. So if you are someone who hates people, the Bible says, if you are someone who hates people, you're a murderer. And that results in Christians dying. I myself know that, you know, people would be willing, you know, under certain circumstances to murder a neighbor that bothered them because that's what happened in Germany. That's what happened with the Christians in Israel. Um, of course, that's what happened in socialist Russia. Yes, I said socialist. The Russian term was socialist. We, it, uh, we came up with the term communist. Happened in socialist Germany. And it doesn't have to be a socialist country for people to murder one another and say they're saved. You know, and the whole thing, the Germans didn't know and all that stuff. Well, you know, you know that is God's place to judge. But here is reality. You know, Jesus said you were just the same as your far forefathers. He said, he said you are the children of, of the ones that murdered the prophets. So Jesus said, and once again, the Bible is telling us times don't change. That you can call yourself Christian, you can call yourself Jewish. Are you children of God? If you're not children of God, then you're the people of the devil. And you can wear a cross. You can read your Bible every day. You can tell the pastor 
how good his sermons are. I'm talking about here hypocrite pastors or pastor hypocrites and murdering Christians. Pastors want to do, and we call them ministers in my particular denomination. It's one of those denominations that, you know, you hear those denominations if, you're, if you know about this stuff and are around. One of these denominations that say, oh no, we're not a denomination. We're the real church. Well, the Catholics say the same thing. To others, the Catholic Church is a denomination. The Catholic Church was supposed to be Christian. And yet they supposedly murdered, I think it was 80 million, over 80 million people. That's what the Pope, supposedly the Pope says, or the Pope had said, a, a certain Pope had said, that they murdered 80 million people. These are Christians living in a civilized society. The same thing would be said of Germany, Christians living in a civilized society. And, you know, people say we didn't know, it's not our fault. God's forgiveness extends to even the, the hating murderer, Paul, who became a wonderful bastion of love, as did, I just love, uh, the disciple John. So we've got, you know, the pastors and ministers doing the same thing. They're trying to murder Jesus. And here we've got Jeremiah 7. Do not trust in deceptive words, chapter, or ver, chapter 7, verse 4, saying, This is the temple of the Lord, or temple of I am, the temple of the Lord, or the temple of I am, I think it's correct correct translation, the temple of I am. For if you truly amend your ways and deeds, see, God's showing mercy, but you must not expect God to show license. People don't get that. God doesn't show mercy to people who go back and do the same thing and just do the same thing and do the same thing and then they expect what they call God's mercy. You're asking for God's permission and he doesn't give permission for evil. If you do what's good, you know, you get what's good. If you do what's wrong, then you get what you deserve and you get what's wrong. If you amend your ways and deeds, if you truly practice justice between a man and his neighbor, you do not oppress the alien, the orphan, or the widow and do not shed innocent blood in this place. So here you got your, your Christians back then, and he's saying you're shedding innocent blood, nor walk, walk after other gods to your own ruin. Then I will let you dwell in this place in the land that I gave, your forefa gave to your fathers forever and ever. I don't know if that's the correct translation. Um, Behold, you are trusting in deceptive words. Jeremiah 7, verse 8. To no avail will you steal, murder, commit adultery, and swear falsely, and, okay, and offer sacrifices to Baal, and walk after other gods that you have not known. Then come and stand before me in this house. See, there's the problem. It was this religious hypocrisy, and I believe pastors and ministers and priests, whatever you want to call them, religious leaders, follow the wills of their people, of their people. and this is the will of the people. Commit adultery, okay, steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, and offer sacrifices to Baal, and walk after other gods which you have not known, then come and stand before me. You know, God uh, let, Cain, let Cain off the hook. He didn't just go, boop, you know, we're going to get you. He let him off the hook. It was a first murder. And he let him off the hook. I mean, to some extent. Then come and stand before me in this house. Here we go. Somebody going, going, let me appear before God. Let me lead the people to God. And then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are delivered, that you may do all these abominations. And see, times don't change. Jesus said, John 8, verse 40, starting in verse 40, But as it is, you are seeking to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God. This Abraham did not do. You are doing the deeds of your father. They said, they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and have come from God. For I have not even come on my own initiative, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I am saying? 
it, because you cannot hear my word, you are of your father the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. So if your father is a devil, you can call yourself a pastor or a priest. If you are truly sincere, if you want to do the right thing, if you're trying to do not do the wrong thing, you are not going to lead a congregation. Verily, verily, I say unto you, yet again. With the Roman church, you know, the murder and all that stuff, it's the same thing throughout history. With As, lo as well as the Jews and the Gypsies in Germany, they especially wanted to get rid of the Christians, and people don't believe that. They had to get rid of people that stood in their way of what they wanted to do. These things I have spoken to you, John 16, verse 1, and going on from there. These things I have spoken to you so that you may be kept from stumbling. They will make you outcasts from their synagogue. But an hour is coming for everyone to, who kills you to think he is offering a service to God. So this idea, this religious murderer, and you say, well, you know, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever, they wouldn't kill you or murder you and think they're offering a service to God. After all, a Muslim or a Christian or whatever, they know God. Verily, verily, I say unto you, John 16, 3, these things they will do because they have not known the Father or me. All right? I come from an aristocratic family in the South, a family that probably owns slaves. and yet I am rejected by my family. These people are supposed to be Christians. My family hates me. And the police would have beat me up and would love to beat me up. In fact, if they could just stop my life altogether, the police would enjoy doing that. It's not because they're not Christian. It's because their father is a devil. The police want to think that they're Christian. You know, once you get a Bible, and I've got a cross, i got a cru several crucifixes, two crucifixes, just two, <laughs> on my walls, and they're nice. But that's the way people are. They get their crucifixes, they get their Bibles, all this stuff. The priests had their robes, and Jesus said they made their tassels long. Jesus said, the religious people that think they're offering a service to God will kill you. Because, and, they, and, they, and they're going to think they're offering a service to God. Times have not changed. Pastors are often, well, hypocrites, well, they are hypocrites. Just as the Pharisees, the leading people, and the rest of the people, the rest of the, the, the 3,000 Peter talked to. He said, you killed the author of life, at least 3,000 that came to Jesus, I don't remember exactly how many were there, thousands of people, and he said, you killed the author of life. The scriptures make it clear. Whether you're a Jew, and you think you're going to act like Abraham, and you don't, and you don't want to believe it, you're a Christian, you think you're going to act like Jesus, there's a lot of hypocrisy in the world, and pastors are leaders, and ministers, as they call them in my denomination, leaders of this hypocrisy. But Jesus loves us and he forgives us. And he will set things right that are wrong. Of course, people don't believe that. If you love your brother, you're doing right. If you hate your brother, you go to James. Or you go to the book of John. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And no murderer is, a, so, is, is supposedly a Christian. And no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. That's what the scriptures say. Times have not changed. History repeats itself. Blessings to you. And I have best wishes for all. God bless.